Florida. Well, if you watch the show, you know that Dr. Oz is a big supporter of vitamin D. He's the reason I take it. But <laughs> what about the other vitamins? Are they worth taking? Or are you spending money on something that doesn't really work? As the director of pharmacy at the Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center, Judy Arnold spends her day surrounded by hundreds of prescriptions. But when it comes to vitamins, Arnold says less is more. Well, for the most part, I think we're wasting a lot of money. Arnold estimates 50% of Americans take supplements, spending more than $22 billion a year. She believes Americans need to look at their diet first before reaching for a supplement. If you have certain disease states, you will, of course, need vitamins added to your diet. Um, but if you have a really healthy diet, um, you don't need additional vitamins. And a supplemental vitamin is really not going to substitute for a very poor diet. There is one vitamin, though, Arnold says everyone benefits from, vitamin D. The RDA on vitamin D increased from 400 units to 1,000 units recently because of the benefits it has to your cardiac system and your body overall. But Arnold warns that too much of a good thing. Too much vitamin D over a long period of time can damage your kidney. That's the case with all the fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, D, E and K. When you get a toxic level of those because they are stored in your body, in your fat tissue, you'll have signs of toxicity, usually nausea, maybe vomiting, maybe constipation, depending on which vitamin you get too much of. So Arnold's advice, improve your diet and stick to just one multivitamin, and she agrees with Oz, a vitamin D too. So see, you're in good company. Yes, I got to take my <laughs> vitamin D every day. Otherwise, you could be wasting your money if you're filling up on all those other ones. All right, good advice. Still to come, all new at 530.